So let's go over to perspective and zoom out a little bit and let's bring in our mesh. Let's scale it up. It's hard to see through the mask. So let's bring the opacity down so we can kind of line this up. So what we're going to do is we're going to line this up perfectly or as best we can in this view. And then we're going to take all these 2D trackers and we're going to project the 2D trackers onto the mesh from this camera angle. And that will force the trackers to be constrained to the mask itself and help with the solving. Around one of the things we want to do is turn off the field of view is fixed. Let's try to line this up. So you just click and you can drag it. So now that we have this lined up, we can turn off the pinning. And that's pretty close. And what we'll do is we can either select all of the trackers and then project them, or we can just pick a handful, which I think is the way I'm going to go. So I'm just going to pick different trackers. So let's start with those and then let's come up here. And then under track, you have an option right here drop on a mesh. Click on that and it projected straight from this camera view onto the 3D mesh. And you can see that it added a constraint to each one of these points, which are constrained to the 3D space or the 3D mesh. So now when we solve, it's going to use our 2D trackers based upon the 3D mesh. So it's basically set up a set of constraints for all of our points. So let's go over to the solver and let's hit go and just see what we get. Press OK. All right. Uh, one of the things I might try is let's put on the constraints and hit refine. I think that's going to work out really well.